Siyempre, ikaw ang nag-intro nung, nung una, <laughs> pangalawa ko naman. Uh-oh. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay student. Welcome to Matibay <laughs> class. Ayan. <laughs> Bumabalik na naman tayo sa part ng paeksahan tayo. <laughs> Oo nga. Siyempre, <laughs> sabi natin nga, ayaw natin na dapat natutulog at nabubol yes. ng ating mga students. Mm-hmm. Kaya hanggat maaari, kung kailangan natin sumigaw, sumigaw, sumigaw tayo. tayo. <laughs> okay. At siyempre, yung remote coaching niyan, feeling ko merong mga mababasag-basag ang screen. <laughs> uh, Kamu mamadali. Tignan natin yung paano mo... Pabilis lang yung topic kay dapat, ano, pabilisan din silang sumagod. Paraan. Okay, so our lesson number two, our module two, is all about performing fundamental operations on fractions and decimals. Ayan. Take note that when we say fundamental operations, Four it basic. involves the addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication and, and division, division itself. So, napakadali pa rin yan, ma'am, pang elementary. Oo, okay. pang elementary pa rin. Pero syempre, maraming nakalimot yan. Oo, kaya nalang na-air kagaya, kagaya niya. Ay. <laughs> yung broken kanina may nakalimot Ayan. kasi <laughs> Ayan, objective Isa lang po pala ulit So it should be objective Nakatapang Perform operations Ayan. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division and fraction And decimals with considerable accuracy, accuracy. Wow. Okay. Ay, Makailangan pala tayong i-consider dito Nakaka-excite naman yan At super dali lang yan mga anak We have okay. the basic rules when performing operations with fractions Okay First is to add fractions with like or common denominators. Add the numerators and write the sum over the common denominator. Okay. Ibig sabihin nun mga anak, kapag pareho ang nasa baba, all you have to do is to add their numerator, then and copy its the denominator. denominator. Mamaya, mamaya, may papakita natin sa ating mga yes. examples. Napakadali. Next naman. To subtract fraction with common denominators, subtract the numerators with and write the difference over the common denominator. Ibig sabihin naman, kapag subtraction yan at parehas ang kanilang denominator, mm-hmm. kailangan mo lang ipag-minus or isubtract ang kanilang numerator. Yes, so, kukunin mo ang kanilang difference. Yes. Okay, to add unlike fractions, actually, pareho lang naman, to add and subtract unlike fraction, all you have to do is to get the least common denominator ang tinatawag natin LCD, yes. then um, add and simplify if necessary. Yes. Now, ma'am, meron tayong pinakamadaling step dyan. At ituturo natin yan sa ating mga mahal na mahal na matibay students. Later on. Okay, mamaya, okay, mamaya ituturo namin sa inyo yan. So, those are the rules. Oh, wala na ba? Ayan, meron pa. <laughs> Ay, ito pa pala. Yun nga, to subtract and oh, like fractions, kagaya nung sinabi ni Sir kanina, same process, kunin ng LCD and then perform the operation. It, the LCD is the least common, common multiple, multiple of, of the, the denominators. denominators. At itong madali mang pintin, mm-hmm. pareho lang yan. To multiply and divide two fractions, okay? Ay, sa, sa ano muna pala tayo? Multiplication sa multiplication muna. muna. To multiply fractions, multiply the numerator, multiply the denominators, and, and write the product in the simplest, simplest. form. So, ibig sabihin, numerator times numerator, denominator, denominator times, denominator. times denominator. At kung kailangan siyang isimplify, isisimplify mo. Yes. Okay. And when dividing two fractions, multipa- multiply the first fraction with the reciprocal of the second fraction. Mm-hmm. Kunin mo daw yung kabaliktaran or reciprocal ng second the fraction mo and then imumultiply mo siya numerator, numerator, denominator, or denominator or pwede rin namang cross, cross multiplication. multiplication. Okay. So, dalawa yung process na pwedeng gawin dyan. Yes. Kung saan mas comfortable yung ating mga anak ay ng inyong gagawin. gagawin. Pero, Pero pagkita natin, natin yung yes. yes. Ayun. Meron pa ba? Yung decimal number, meron ba? Ilagay mo? Okay. Ayan, Basic rules pa. when performing operations with decimals. Actually, ma'am, no need to explain. All you have to do, dapat, yes. um, ayan na, sige, pasahin na lang natin. When adding decimals, the most important thing is to line up the decimal Two points in each row. Any gaps without digits can be filled with zeros. Yes, okay? Sa addition kasi and subtraction, dapat talaga magkapantay lagi ang decimal kanyang point. decimal point. Yes. Naka-align dapat. Then sabi nga dyan, ma'am, kung walang digit, ibig sabihin, zero yon. Okay? Yes. So, dito sa 3 na yan, ma'am, pwede natin lagyan niya ng Zero. zero. Para hindi malito yung mga bata. Yeah. Okay. Pwede rin naman natin lagyan yan ng yeah. zero. Okay. okay. Yan ang so, sabihin. yun. Just to read and analyze this one, mga anak. Ito, ito, ito. Dito tayo sa multiplication. When? When? Multi- when? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> Sorry, day. <laughs> when multiplying decimals, you don't need to line yes. up the decimal points. 
start off by multiplying the two numbers as if the decimal points were not there. there. Yes. Then count how many decimal places appear after the decimal point in the question. This is how many digits there should be after the decimal point in the answer. Okay. Ayan. So, hindi mo raw kailangan pagtapatin yung iyong decimal point. Ang gagawin nila, Ma'am Tintin, ay normal, para sila nagmumultiply yes, ng normal. Yung normal na multiplication. Then kapag nakuha na nila yung 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 product then i-count lang nila yung digits right after the decimal point of the numerator and the denominator yes tapos doon mo ilalagay of yung the two numbers pala decimal mamaya point. ituturo natin yes nang bong nang bong na ayun and, and a division both parts of the division need need to be multiplied by 10 until you are dividing by whole number the decimal point in the answer is then lined up with the decimal point in the question mamaya teknik ako na mas madali uh -huh kaysa sa kanyang explanation. Yung, so, ipapakita natin yan mamaya. Uh, yan yung long process ba natin? Uh Oo. -oh, basta ipapakita ko yan mamaya, ma'am. Ayun. Okay. That's all about, that is all about our module 2. Yes, module 2. Let us now proceed with our examples. examples. Let's proceed with the examples on our module number 2. Una, addition of decimal numbers. So, gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, importante na dapat ang decimal points natin ay magkakatapat-tapat. So, isusulat muna natin. So, 3.9 plus, ayan, 20.00352. So, we have 20. Take note again, magkatapat dapat ang decimal point. 00352 plus 1205, 1205.00. Point. 26. Okay, so you are just going to add. Since walang katapat yan, pwede mo siyang lagyan ng 0, 0, pwede rin namang hindi. Mm -hmm. Pero in our case, kahit wag na nating lagyan, okay lang. So, since wala siyang katapat, you are just going to bring... Sige ma'am, lagyan mo ng 0 para ah, hindi sige. sila malito. Sige na nga. Maski oh, dito. Maski dito. <laughs> 1, 2, 3... 1, 2. Ayan. Okay. Lagyan natin ng katapat para mas madaling maintindihan. I-apply natin yung dito sa subtraction mamaya. So, since 0 plus 2 plus 0, 2. Pakadali, 2. 0 plus 5 plus 0, 5. 5. 0 plus 3 plus 0, 3. 3. 0 plus 0 plus 6, 6. 6. 9 plus 2, 11. 1, carry 1. 1. So, kopyahin yung decimal point. 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. 9. 0 plus 2 plus 0, 2. 2. 0 plus 0 plus 2, 2. 2. 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1. 1. Final answer. So, we have 1,229.16352. Ganun lang kadali. Yes, ganun lang kadali. Next, subtraction. Gaya ng ginawa natin sa addition, magkatapat din po dapat ang decimal point. So, we have 119.305 and 12. 0.17. Okay? Subtraction yan. Ayaw mo na yung 0. Hanggin natin ng 0. 5 minus 0. Ayaw mo na yung 0. Ay, ito pa pala. Sorry. 5 minus 0. 5. 5. 0 minus 7. Cannot be. Hindi pwede. So, hihiram tayo ng isa dyan. Magiging 2 yan. Magiging 3. 10 yan. So, 10 minus 7. 3. 3. 2 minus 1. 1. 1. Copy point, 9 minus 2, 7. seven. 1 minus 1, zero. 0. 1 minus 0, one. 1. Final answer. As simple as that. Okay. Let's now have multiplication and division of decimal numbers. Okay, let's start with multiplication. Sabi natin noon, sa multiplication, para magawa yan, gawin natin normal na nag-multiply tayo. So, we have 10.8 times. 3.122 Okay? 2 times 8, ma'am? 16. 16. Okay, ilalagay natin yung 1 doon. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 1. 2 times 1? 1. I thought 2. two. two. <laughs> okay? Next, 2 times 8? 16. Since 2 yan, 2 yan pareho lang sasagot. Copy na lang natin. 6, 1, 2. Naget mo yung process, ma'am? Yes, yes. Same. Okay. 1. 1 times 8 is? 8. 8. Zero, this is 0. And 1 times one. 1 is? 1. 1. Okay. Let's have 3. 3 times 8? 24. 24. Carry, Carry two. 2. 3 times 0 is 0. Time, ay, plus, plus 2, two, two is 2. Then 3 times 1 is? 3. three. Nakakasunod, ma'am? Yes. Then let's do the addition. Okay. 6. Bring down ulang kasama. 
One plus six. Seven. Seven. Two plus one. Three. Plus eight. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, carry carry one. one. One plus two. Three. Plus zero. Zero. Plus three, four. Seven. Seven. Okay. One plus two. Three. Three. Then bring down three. three. Okay. Lahat ng numbers. Pagkatapos ng decimal point. Uh, bilangin. Bilangin. Nandito yung decimal point. Yes. One. Nandito yung decimal point. One, two, two three. Three plus one. Four. four. So one, two, three, and four. And this on. is our decimal number. Yes. Decimal point. That's why 10.8 times 3.122 is equal to 33.7176. Okay, mas kikonsol mo pa yun sa inyong calculator. Yes. Okay? Now, division of decimal number. Pag division of decimal number naman, babasahin mo yan as 7.13 divided by yung long method. 0.9. Okay? Yes. Ang technique dyan para mas madali, ma'am, gawin nating whole number ang ating divisor. Yes. Okay? Para maging whole number yan, okay. i-move natin yung decimal number natin to the right. Okay? So, kung ilang beses natin pag move sa ating divisor, dapat ganun din sa loob. Okay? Yes. This is 1. So, whole number na siya. Mm -hmm. Okay? Since isa yung beses yan, isang beses din dito. Uh -oh. So, meron na tayo ngayon, ma'am. 71.3. Let's proceed with the addition of fraction. Okay, so meron tayong dalawa. Meron tayo, ano yung tawag na dito kapag parehas? Um, similar fraction. Ayun, similar fraction and, and dissimilar. dissimilar fraction. So, unahin natin yung similar. Kapag similar daw, ia-add mo lang yung numerator and then you're just going to copy the denominator. Mm -hmm. So, 3 plus 1? 4. Since parehas yan, just simply copy, ito na po ang ating sagot. Okay. But of course... Tingnan mo muna kung pwede pang i-simplify okay. or hindi na. Since hindi na sila pwedeng i-simplify, yan ang ating final answer. answer. So, for number 2, we have the similar fraction. Kapag the similar fraction, kukunin natin ang kanilang least common multiple. Yes, least common multiple. Of the denominator. So, least common multiple or ang technique na ginagawa natin ay yung 9 times 5. five. So, 9 times 5 is? 45. 45. So, 45 Divided by 9 is, is five. 5. Times 5 is? 25. 25. Plus, 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So, 25 plus 27 is? 52. 52. All over 45. Question, pwede ba bang isimplify yan? Yes. Yes. From improper, dahil mas mataas yan, to mixed. So, ilang 45 ang makukuha natin kay 52? Isa. Ayan mo muna ah. I-divide mo na. Ayan. So, 52 and ganyan. Yes. 45. So, ilang 45 ang makukuha natin kay 52? We one. have 1. 45. Subtraction. 52 minus 45 seven. is 7. So, so ibig sabihin, ito ang ating whole number. We have 1. Ang remainder natin ay 7 all over 45. 45. Okay. Final answer. Again, from improper to Mixed okay. fraction. Mam Tintin, kasi ito, hindi pa siya simplified yes, form. Yes, hindi pa siya simplified. Okay, ito ang mas simplified. Yes. Mas simplified. Okay. Yan lang. Let's have subtraction of similar fraction and subtracting dissimilar fraction. Kagaya ng sinabi ni Mam Tintin, kagaya ng addition, kapag pareho ang tinatawag nating denominator, just subtract the numerator and copy its denominator. We have 7 all over 5 minus 2 all over 5, simply minus our numerator. 7 minus 2 is? 5. 5, then copy our denominator. 5 all over 5, syempre pwede pa masimplify. This is equal to? 1. 1. 1 is our final answer. Yes. Next, 2 thirds minus 1 fifth. Since si singular Same sila, kukunin natin ang least common multiple ng ating denominator. At ang pinaka-simple way dyan is to multiply our denominator. 3 times 5 is 15. 15, 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Yes. Since subtraction tayo, this is minus. Okay? Yes. 10 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Nakakasunod pang tintin? Yes. Now, 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. Seven all, all over 15. 15. Question, proper or improper? Proper. Since, since proper fraction siya at hindi na siya pwede simplify, 7 all over 5 is our final answer. answer.
Ayan, let's move on to multiplication of fraction ang pinakamadali dahil i-multiply mo lang from numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. I-apply natin 1 times 5. 5. 3 times 10? 30. 30. Pwede pang i-simplify, yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, because they are both divisible by 5. five. So, i-divide natin. 5 divided by 5 is 1. one. And five, 30 divided by 5 is 6. Final answer? Yes, ma'am. Yes, kasi hindi mo na siya pwedeng i-simplify. Next, number 2. Numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator. 7 times 2? 14. 14. And 5 times 5 is? 25. Okay. May factors pa po ba yan? Wala na po. Wala na. Therefore, this is already your final Additional answer. information, baka magtaka yung iba. Ma'am, magkapareho po sila ng denominator. Ah, Again, yeah. iba ang rule natin sa subtraction and addition, iba ang rule natin kay multiplication. multiplication. Again, multiplication, ang tanging tatandaan nyo lang. Numerator. Multiply, it's numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator. denominator. Finally, let's have division of fraction. Okay? Sa division of fraction naman, dalawang technique ang ating papakita. Yes. So, let's have the first technique. What if we have 1 half divided by 2 all over 5? Ang first technique natin ay kukunin natin ang reciprocal ng ating pangalawang uh -huh. given. Then, let's proceed to the rule of multiplication. So, we have now 1 half. Copy lang po natin yung unang binigay. Then, kukunin daw natin yung reciprocal. Ibig sabihin, babalik ka rin natin yung 2 fifth. Magiging... 5, five all over 2, then proceed to the rule of multiplication. multiplication. Now, in multiplication, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 1 times 5 is? 5. 5. 2 times 2 is? 4. 4. Proper fraction or improper fraction? Improper. Final answer o hindi pa? Hindi, hindi pa. pa. So, pwede po natin gawing 5 divided by 4. Ilang 4 ang meron sa 5? Isa. Isa. 1 times 4 is 4 remainder 1. Ito po ang ating whole number. 1. 1 ang ating remainder. Ilalagay natin dito. At ang ating divisor, ang ating magiging denominator. Yeah. So, the final answer is, is 1, 1 and, and 1 fourth. Okay. Second technique, ipapakita ko. 3 divided by 5 divided by 4 all over 3. Ang ating technique ay tinatawag nating cross, cross multiplication. multiplication. Imumultiply mo yan. Imumultiply mo yan. Yes. Okay. 3 times 3 is equal to? 9. 9. Then, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. 20. Pwede pa ba natin silang simplify? Hindi na. Hindi na. Improper or proper? Since proper. proper fraction na siya, at hindi na pwedeng simplify, this is our final answer. Again, matibay students, dalawang teknik, bahala kayo kung, kung saan, saan kayo, kayo mas, mas comfortable. Okay. Ayan. So, great job everyone. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Tandaan, magiging mahirap ang ating magiging paglalakbay. Pero, Pero lahat kakaya yan, rin natin lahat, natin yan. lahat Dahil tayo ay Hashtag, hashtag matibay. matibay. Paalam bye po. Bye-bye, mga anak.